can you eat those things, Spike? <laughs> You're one to talk. There's not much else for Spike to eat that he can eat. I'm just glad the warm time is finally coming. Then there'd be all kinds of green food to eat. I am looking forward to swimming in the watering hole instead of walking on it. Yeah, if the hard water really is turning soft. <laughs> Me think it is? And you know what that means. Hard, hard water, water hopping! hopping! How does hard water hop? Water not hop? <laughs> you hop on water. Come on, we'll show you. I want to go first. I'm going to sit here and watch so I can see. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Was I great or what? Who's next? Me. I'll go. Oh, sorry. I was busy seeing all of this green food. Whoa! <gasps> all I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Seems to follow all the way home to the land before time. Before time. Yes, it's green food, all right, but there's not much of it. Well, I guess the cold time was just too cold. Huh. If you ask me, there's not enough to go around, not nearly enough. Oh, I think there's plenty for all of us, as long as we share. Share? Hmm. But still, the more horns you have, the more food you get, right? Um, I don't think so. <sighs> it's just a good thing there aren't any more of us. Hey, everybody, look! Those far walkers look familiar. <clears throat> <gasps> it's Tippy. Spike! Tippy sees Spike. <laughs> Tippy's learning to talk. Does Spike know that little Spike tail? <laughs> they sure look like friendly friends and playful playmates. Tippy's herd came to the Great Valley once before, and he and Spike got to know each other. Ducky, are you okay with Spike playing with Tippy? He sure got mad the last time Tippy was here. Tippy and Spike might be good friends, but I know now that Spike and I are family. I want Spike to be happy, and playing with Timmy <laughs> makes him happy. <laughs> Come on, let's follow him. Good times, good friends. Look at Spike and Tippy play. Good times, good friends. Hope they get to play all day. <laughs> Watch them laugh and run. Dashing through Tippy's herd. <laughs> Think they're having fun. Say it, Spike. Good times, good friends. Back together once again. Good times, good friends. Wish that it would never end. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> Tippy's it! <laughs> Hello, Spike. It's wonderful to see you again. <laughs> Hello, children. Great to see you again. What brings your herd back to the Great Valley? Oh, this has been a very harsh, cold time, dear. Green food is hard to find out there. But we knew that here in the Great Valley, everyone is happy to share food. Share our food? Are you crazy? There's not enough to go around as it is. Why, of course there is. You're just being selfish. <gasps> <laughs> I don't believe this. First you barge in here and demand our food, and then you insult us. I don't like your attitude. Nobody asked you to like it. Please, there's plenty of green food. Plenty for everyone. No, there's not. And even if there were, I wouldn't share it with this pack of, uh, of interlopers. Did you push me? Huh? You trying to push me? Oh, when I push you, you'll know it. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Break it up, please. Oh, okay. We're, uh, we're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're all welcome to share what little green food we have. Huh. Fine. Thank you. But that doesn't mean we need to hang around with you. Oh, no? Oh, how sad. Spike Tails, follow me! Well, I never. Who does he think he is? Ah, uh, the nerve. Oh, but I... <laughs> that goes for you two, too. Uh, I mean, as well, or... Uh, just come on! But Tippy wants to play with Spike. But Spike doesn't belong to our herd. He lives here. Then why is your son playing with him? I forbid it. You hear me, Tippy? I forbid you to play with that Great Valley Spike Tail. Now, Tippy, you heard what our leader said. No playing with Spike. <sighs> Tippy knows, Mom. Hmm. Don't even think hmm. about it, Spike. If those far walkers don't want to associate with us, then so be it. Hmm. Hmm. I am sorry about you and Tippy. But I will play whatever game you want. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Spike is too sad to play. This is bad. It is, it is. 
Spike would still get to play with Tippy if the grown-ups weren't mad at each other. <laughs> it's all the Far Walkers' fault. They shouldn't have barged in and demanded to share our green food when there's not enough to go around. what to do. Huh? 
will know that Spike and Tippy have been playing together. Hmm. What should Spike and Tippy do? Hi, where have you been? Oh, if I tell you guys something super secret, will you promise not to tell it ever, ever, ever? We uh -huh. promise never. I just saw Spike and Tippy, and they were playing. Together. Oh. Really? What are you going to do? I do not know. That is why I wanted to talk with you. Oh, you're going to tell on them? I do not want to get Spike in trouble. So then you're not going to tell on them? Well, Spike should also not be disobeying our mom. Well, if you're not going to tell, then I will. <gasps> No, no, no! Dad! Dad! Sarah! Do not do it! Dad! What is it, Sarah? <laughs> Wait till you hear. I just found out that. Please! Well? What'd you find out? Uh, uh, I found out that... Uh, uh, if you eat the green stuff with the purple flowers, it'll make your breath minty fresh. I already knew that. I told you. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now Tippy and Spike's secret is safe. What? <gasps> what? Tippy, what are you doing with Spike? Tippy and Spike just want to play together. But you disobeyed me. Spike, you disobeyed me. Well, your Spike must have talked Tippy into it. My Spike doesn't talk. What's going on here? Well, that, that Tippy character my came in here and led my, my sweet little, little Spike down the road to disobedience, which and only goes behavior. to show what is Why did you two let them catch you? Because Spike and Tippy found a place with lots and lots of green food. The kind of what did he say? Green food. Well, if Tippy found it. It belongs to us. Nonsense. We get all the green food in the Great Valley. No! Tippy says we don't tell him where it is. <laughs>
If we can save our kids together, why can't we eat together? Yeah, why not? I don't know. Stop doing that. Just look at them, Littlefoot. Thanks to your friends, they've learned to share. <laughs> Thanks again for sharing your green food. I'm sure there's enough growing out there now for us to continue our far walk. Tippy will miss Spike. Spike is Tippy's friend. And now, Ducky is Tippy's friend too. Yes, yes, yes. Swimmer, maybe. <laughs> Spike? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Something down there, something scary. Scary? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Spike? Spike! 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 I do not think Spike. 
Spike heard me because I do not hear Spike. And me not see him either. Ugh. Careful, Petrie. You don't want to fall in too. Fall? <laughs> oh, oh, how is Spike going to get out? I don't know. He's not much of a climber. We're gonna need help. Help is good, but I do not want to leave Spike alone. No, no, no. Then we'll go, and you stay. Okay, but please hurry. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Spike and I fell into a hole. I wouldn't want to be Spike. Can't he just dig his way out? Oh, he need a big head to dig like that. <laughs> well, at least my head isn't small. Yes, but if your head was on Spike, he wouldn't be Spike. And you wouldn't be you. I'm afraid I must concur with Ruby on this issue. Spike does not possess the strong, flat prow of a three-horn nor the long neck of, well, a long neck. So how is Spike gonna get out? Do you think you could help us rescue Spike, Mr. Thicknose? Why, certainly. Just lead the way. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Speaking of it, you're it! <laughs> What is he doing here? And um, why is he eating my bed? <laughs> why don't you ask him and find out? I'm not asking him. You ask him. No way. You ask him. I'll ask him. <laughs> <clears throat> Greetings. I am Milo, and these are my friends, Lydia and Plower. Hello. Hello. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, um, what brings you to our world? I don't understand. Maybe you're not supposed to. Huh? Huh? Maybe this stranger who fell from the mysterious above is... the Big Wise One. The Big Wise One? No, he's not. Think about where he came from. <laughs> Above the mysterious above. Oh, please. The strange white world we've never been to. Legend says our dreams will come true with the big wise one. Huh. 
above the mysterious above where our visitor has come from do you really think i'm so dumb to think that he's the one his kindly smile his giant size the big wise one is here just look into his thoughtful eyes your doubts will disappear above the mysterious above the mysterious above how we've looked forward to this day oh big wise one show us the way so we may share your love from the mysterious above above the mysterious above Where are you all going? Mr. Thickmill is going to help Spike out of a hole. He is? Well, good luck then. <laughs> Spike will need it. <laughs> I don't find anything funny about a young Spike tail in trouble. Oh, come on, Sarah. I better show them how to save Spike. For you, Big Wise One. <laughs> oh, Big Wise One, I must know. Why is it that sometimes the ground shakes and shivers? Of course, it is you who makes the ground shake. Oh, oh thank you, Big Wise One. Oh, Big Wise One, when will I be ready to leave my parents' nest and forage on my own? I see. I will be ready when my horns are full grown. Thank you, Big Wise One. <laughs> the Big Wise One is finally here. Oh, I am so happy you are back. Are you sure he's down there? I saw him fall. But all I have heard is Spike's tummy sounds. Don't worry, Ducky. I'm sure I can think of a way to save Spike. Oh, thinking won't save Spike, but strength will. Now, Mr. Threehorn, in my experience, things like this require careful consideration. Consideration? <laughs> bah! Let's just start digging. But if you dig in the wrong place, we might all end up down there. Are you suggesting that I would dig in the wrong place? Yes, you've got to think. Wrong place? That's right. I don't know any hole that's been dug by thinking. You've got to think. You've got to use strength. No, you've got to think. Strength. Think. Strength. Think. Strength. Oh, think. Me not understand. Strength. Think. They helping Strength. Spike now think. or not? Strength. Think. Doesn't sound Strength. like the sound think. of Spike Strength. getting out to think. me. Strength. Think. So how is Spike going to get out of that hole? Oh, I do not know, but I do hope he is all right. I don't think we should wake him. Oh, what choice do we have? Oh, big wise one. Oh, big wise one? Big wise one! Maybe he's saving his strength. Maybe. 
but the time has come to use that strength. <laughs> Holy oh, wise one, excuse me. <laughs> oh, big wise one, we are sorry for the rude awakening, but it is time. <sighs> Time to vanquish the great hideous beast. Mm -hmm. The great hideous beast runs on two legs like a fast fighter. Has the helmet of a three horn. And the big scary eyes of a night walker. <laughs> the great hideous beast! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming from the mysterious above to save us, big wise one. It's all up to you. <laughs> Bye. was soft enough to swallow Spike. We'll need to use rocks to stabilize. No time for that. We need to dig. I don't think it's that simple. Ha! <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. And you're being stubborn. Well, I wouldn't be if you'd just do things my way. Her <laughs> way, yes. We'll get him out my way, my way. We'll do it my way. Oh, no. My way, my way. We'll do it my way. There can be no doubt that I can get Spike out my way. My way. If you'd listen to me, he'd already be free. My way. My way. You can't expect me to believe that your idea could really succeed. My way! My way! We'll do it my way. I say my way. No, my way. We'll, we'll do, do it my way. My, my, my way. way. Did they agree on an idea yet? Me not know. Me too dizzy. Then we'll just have to agree to agree on an idea ourselves. Right. <gasps> what about the sticky vines? They are very long. Yep, yep, yep. Not long enough to get all the way down the hole. But they can be even longer by curling one vine with another vine with another vine. Long enough to reach Spike? Spike can just curl the vines around his middle. Then we pull up the vines, and the vines pull up Spike. That's the best idea we've heard all day. A 
Being the big wise one must make you very hungry. <laughs> so we've brought you all the food from our colony. <laughs> This time. <laughs> Enjoy. <sighs> the wise one from above wishes to go back to the mysterious above. from the great hideous beast. It is right that you return to the mysterious above and protect others. Oh. <laughs> hey, where did the great hideous beast go? Spike? No, no, no. I thought he felt lighter. If Spike's not here, then where... Oh, excuse you, Spike. <gasps> Spike? Spike! You back! Yay! Spike! Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes! who that was who was here. What matters is that Spike is the who that is here. And for that, I am glad. Mm. Very glad. If you just listen to me. Why should I? My way's better. But Mr. Thicknose and Mr. Threehorn. Spike's already been saved it. <laughs> well, um, uh, how nice. He would have been rescued earlier if you hadn't argued with me. You're the one who started arguing. I did not. Oh, yes, you did. I did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did so. What kind of adventure is it if we don't explore anything? But we are exploring the caves. Well, I'm bored with the caves. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> see, this is better. <laughs> oh, the bright circle is much brighter out here. Well, we have been in the caves longer than we have been out of them. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some help? Perhaps some help would help you. It's not too high. <laughs> there you go. I've never been here before. That's the point of having an adventure. Say, this place reminds me of some place. Maybe you've been here before. Hmm, maybe. But everywhere I've been in the Great Valley, you've been too. It does not look familiar to me. No, no, no. Red Claw! Now I remember this place! It's... <gasps> the Mysterious Beyond! Run! All 
I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Used to climb in the valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow on the way home. To the land before time. We'll be okay as long as we stick together. Right, together. So they can eat us together? Here. And there is no way off. 
No, no, no! There must be another way around to that ledge. There is always another way. Unless that is the only way. Don't worry, we'll find a way. I do not like being up so high. No, no, no. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, besides, our friends will help us. from his claws. And his teeth. There is not very much room for us and Thud. And Thud's teeth. Oh, I do not like being this close to a sharp tooth. Oh, well, this close to a mean one, I mean. came this way. That dumb old earth shake changed everything. That earth shake also helped us escape Thud. You have to take the good with the bad. Otherwise, you won't get to take anything. Hmm. That's what they do. 
You are also a sharp tooth, and that is not what you do. Oh, he sounds more herded. Well, he does have rocks on his tail. Here all night, that nasty thud gave me a fright, and he is much too big to fight. Ducky, don't be afraid. I'm sure our friends are on the way. Stay close to me, and you will see everything. to get eaten. We can use trees to rescue Chomper and Ducky. Still not a very good reason to get eaten. I hope they get here soon. Again. Yeah, and he doesn't believe our friends will rescue us. <laughs> but they are our friends. Is that not what friends do? I guess not in the mysterious beyond. <laughs> Why Petrie no like adventures. Wish me not go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Me not go adventuring, me not be here right now. Petrie, please, you must be brave while we still have. Can go to 
trees lead us back to cliffs. Nice work, Ruby. Don't thank me yet. We still have to save Ducky and Chomper. Oh, I am sorry you are in pain. But I am not sorry you cannot reach us and then eat us. No, no, no. He said I'm too little. And he's right. If he gets loose, I'm too little to protect us. Or help us get out of here. I'm too little to do anything. You are sad about being little, but that is only on the outside. Today, you've been big enough on the inside to make me feel safe. You have, you have. Hey! <gasps> Are you all right? I am now. <laughs> oh, behind you, Missy Thud! Thud! Don't worry, Thud won't hurt us. Maybe it's a different Thud? He cannot get to us, he is stuck. Me stay late, just in case. And we will rescue you. Also just in case. That one, Spike! showed it that Thud who is big. Our friends may be littler than Red Claw, but they always help us because they are big inside. together when we are someplace else together, like home.
this for sure. Me too. This is the place we left, right where we left it. Little hatchlings first. That's me. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> 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 